Hey guys, what's up? I am back and I'm finally here, finally coming to you guys to give you this full review of the hair that I'm currently wearing, which is the Raw Indian Curly Hair from Blessing Hair Enterprises. So if you guys want to see what I think about this hair and is it worth your money, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's just get straight to it, okay? First things first, the hair specs. Let's go over that a little bit. Like I said, this is the Raw Indian Curly Hair from Blessing Hair. And I got it in the lengths 12, 14, and 16 if I remember correctly. If it's not correct, you guys know I'll always annotate it below so you guys have the correct information. I got this hair in a natural color and it came all natural dark brown to natural black. Um, I think either not natural dark brown and natural black or it came a natural black like a nice 1B sort of color none of the hair was processed it was just scalped from the Indian cleaned wefted and just came straight to me so this hair took a while to come in stock so I did it did take me a while to actually purchase the hair or actually like purchase it because they didn't have like bundles or other bundles of hair that matched the curl pattern that I really wanted because curly hair is very very rare so with that being said after waiting like probably what three weeks for the hair to come in stock I finally bought it it was a nice smooth transaction um, the owner David he's on whatsapp so it was really easy to talk to him but there was just you know the time difference so he'll respond to me when I'm asleep I'll respond when he's um, asleep things like that so or I've just had to stay up really, really late, like three, four o'clock in the morning to talk to him about the hair. But I got the hair via DHL and it came very, very quickly, like within two or three days. So I didn't have to wait long at all. Now, keep in mind that the closure that you see me wearing now is not from Blessing Hair. I purchased this closer, closure separately from a different company. So I will be talking about that separately in this video. But for now, we're just going to stick with the hair. Now let's jump straight into the pros and cons of this hair because there are, you know, quite a bit of both. But the pros. I will say I do really like this hair. I don't love it. I really like this hair. Number one, the curls are beautiful. These are some of the most beautiful curls that I have ever seen on non-processed hair. They are just gorgeous. And when they're freshly washed and, you know, dried, Oh my god, and they're nice and there are those nice ringlet chunky curls that I just absolutely love. So I fell in love with this hair from I saw the picture he sent me of it and I was just even more in love with it when I got it, washed it, let it air dry and just saw how it, you know, just came to life. Um, the bundles were very nice and thick and the hair is very nice and very thick and it's also it also came as a silky texture it wasn't coarse or medium coarse or anything it was a silky texture so it did feel really soft to the touch it just feels raw hair just feels different on the whole now let's get to some cons I did straighten this hair while I had it in my head it was I'll put a picture somewhere around here to show you guys when I had it straightened and it was absolutely beautiful but this hair is a lot of work to straighten. These curls love to be curls, okay? They do not like to be straight. So this hair reminds me so much of my real hair. Like once you straighten it, it's not all the way straight. It still has its texture. It's still nice and fluffy and it looks absolutely natural. But the curls come back without me even wetting the hair, like honestly. And another thing, the hair is very frizzy. And even if you put oil in it or put other products in it to help to stop it from being frizzy, they may work for a while, but the hair just ultimately by the end of the day or in a few days just gets really frizzy. Now, I don't mind that too much because you guys know I like the frizzy look, but this hair gets a little bit too frizzy for my liking sometimes. So what I find works best with this hair is if I deep condition the hair with silicone mix like for overnight in the refrigerator in the refrigerator that has been the key for me in the refrigerator for about overnight or about two nights i put it in there for like two nights and this hair was just 
that was this hair's like saving grace for frizz because it lasted the hair lasted the way it was it was nice and polished and it was it was just so tame and so beautiful for like a couple of days like for about like three days and then it started frizzing i was so happy and i it was just like oh my god it the hair does everything you want it to do once you use a good amount of conditioner in a conditioner and water mix like you need more conditioner than you do water trust me because at this if you just put a light amount of conditioner in this hair in this hair and like in the mix to put in this hair it's it's gonna frizz up really quickly so yeah this hair is kind of high maintenance um well kind of yes and kind of no because the hair is you know wake up and go hair you can do that as long as you you know properly put it up if it's a wig like i have on a wig i put it on my mannequin head i you know brush down all the flyaways and i put it on my mannequin head and when in the morning when i wake up i can just pick it up and put it on my head as long as the frizz is not out of control this hair is wake up and go hair it's really beautiful would i recommend this hair as a sew-in i wouldn't put it in as a sew-in because it's a whole lot of work and i know a lot of people you know aren't interested in doing that much work but i may as well tell you curly hair on its own is work raw hair on its own is raw work raw curly hair a lot of work so you're gonna have to put in the work with this hair not so that it can be you know manageable but so that it can last you a long time and you know it will do what you want it to do now some other cons of this hair is I do get tangling and I do get shedding I did have to cut a piece out of this hair because it got so tangled up like it mostly gets tangled toward the ends like where the ringlets are after a few days because so you will have to brush this hair and clear this hair out every single day if you don't want the hair to start locking up a little bit and forming like little um, knots or clusters toward the end that's the only place that I really have any problems when it comes to any tangling and shedding is a result of the tangling so if i don't have any tangling in the hair it will not shed at all but if you have tangling you're going to have a lot of shedding with this hair and you're not going to be happy so lastly this closure this closure i got what is a 10 inch closure that i got custom made for this hair i sent the vendor a picture of my hair so they could have matched up the closure to it but it still ended up not being an exact match i mean it's not too bad but you know i would have liked it if it was a bit more curlier than it really was but you know i made it work so i this closure is okay i got it from online indian hair india i'll annotate the website below and also have it in the description box so you guys can check them out but I'm not in love with this closure at all. If I had the option to get another, I would have. Because I don't like the lace on this closure, first of all, aside from the hair not exactly matching. But I don't like the lace on it because, it, I don't know, it's just weird. And as you guys can see, it doesn't look as natural as it could. I had to pluck a lot from right here so I could even like be able to work with it. But the lace is just the lace just isn't is not natural at all it's i can't even describe it it's just a different kind of lace that i've seen on any closure and i just don't like it at all i don't think it's natural i don't think it blends well with my scalp or into my hair or anything um and i have to keep like pulling it up if i want to be able to have it looking like sets the knots on this closure really bleach really well so that is a plus and I'm happy with that but uh, with this unnatural lace there's not too much to love with it but uh, you know it does what it does but if you guys go to this vendor I would totally ask for probably like a silk base or something or ask if he can do it with a different type of lace but if he can't I wouldn't you know really recommend going with this closure so all in all what are my thoughts on this hair i really 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 like this hair it does have its cons but this hair is one of the most natural wigs that i've ever worn people think everybody thinks that either this is my hair or they absolutely are in love with this hair on me and i actually really really like it as well i had a great experience with the vendor customer service was amazing I'm able to straighten the hair. I'm able to wear it straight. That's acceptable enough to me because it looks natural. Even though it's poofy, it's natural. And 
I actually really, really like this hair and I would recommend that you guys purchase it with those things that I said in this video in mind. So just please keep those things in mind if you're going to purchase this hair or just purchase um, their straight hair or their wavy hair, something a bit more low maintenance. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'll probably do one more video with this hair which so you guys can actually see it straight for yourself live in camera. So, but this is the last time I'm going to actually be saying things on this hair. So those were my final thoughts. Thank you guys so much. All the information will be down below in the description box and enjoy your day. Until next time, I'll touch you guys soon. Bye.